Thomas and then teams are still trying to figure out rotations. Greg, what's it like to play in a game like that tonight? Well, for a lot of these guys, Kevin, it's all about jockeying for a position, making an argument for minutes. You want to earn the trust of your coaches. Let's check out Toronto's starting lineup. Inside for him, it's Barnes and Siakam. Fred Van Vliet out there with OG Ananobi. And it's Hernan Gomez in at the three spot. Mobley sets the pick for Garland. How good on the three. Well, it was Toronto winning their last game against the New York Knicks. Here's Barnes. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Now, here's Mitchell. Last game out, 36 points for him. Shot clock at five. It's good. And man, does Mitchell get buckets. And from everywhere on the floor, a versatile offensive threat. Pass to Barnes. Mobley with the block. Mitchell finds Garland. The slam dunk by Garland. And with the ball in his hands, Mitchell attracts attention, then breaks down the defense with the pass. To the right side. Allen against Siakam. And it's sent back by Allen. And it's out of bounds. Last touched by Allen. Here's Ananobi, and that one is hammered home. The Cavaliers have gone two or three here to start out the game. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, thanks. I was able to talk with J.B. Bickerstaff for a minute. He wants his guys to focus on jamming the perimeter shooters. He wants hard closeouts, no room to operate. He knows what this team can do if you give them any space on the outside to shoot and they're going to be determined not to let that happen. Kevin? Thanks, David. Devising a strategy to take away that three-point shot. Here's Garland. The Raptors knocking down the tray. Hey, yo, right here. And again, it's Cleveland. Despite being only about 6'1", Garland is a terrific finisher in the paint, even with the defense all in his space. The Raptors are only a few years removed from its championship in 2019. Boy, a lot has changed since then. Now, here's Garland. 23 points his last outing. Mobley a screen on Van Vliet. Allen trying to break free. And you have to be impressed with Siakam's length, especially when you see him put it to use defensively. Passes it to Barnes. Now Van Vliet. Siakamus screen on Allen. A wide open shot from Hernan Gomez. Off the mark there with the three point shot. A lot of change. Toronto is without some of the key pieces from that title team, and it wasn't that long ago. But, Greg, they haven't had to go through a full rebuild. There are some remaining parts. Listen, the talent they have is still undeniable, and they've got a good mix of young up and comers and players in the prime of their career. Now, here's Siakam. Jared Allen unable to get his last shot to go. Pass to Barnes. And here's Hernan Gomez outside. Basket is good. The assist from Barnes. That's a look they always want him to take. If he's got space, he's got the ultra green light. Mitchell outside. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. Mitchell's got five points so far. Van Vliet passes to Hernan Gomez. Van Vliet attacking. Banked in off the glass. And wheeling himself to the basket. Van Vliet has earned his spot in the NBA. This guy hard to deny. Garland against Van Vliet. Garland with the bucket. He has six. And he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. There's the pass to Hernan Gomez. 
without the basket. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Ananobi against Mitchell. Pass to Mobley. Over Barnes. Mobley misses. Well, the defense didn't have any impact on that shot, but somehow he still misses it. Van Vliet finds Hernan Gomez. Back to Van Vliet. Hernan Gomez with a screen for Van Vliet. And again, Toronto with the triple. And the story here, Kevin, early on, is how well they shot the basketball. Now, Garland. Six points for him. To the middle. Lost contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of body there to cover. Mobley using that to his advantage. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Raptors. One shot. Well, he has such tremendous upside, Evan Mobley, and we've even heard coaches express jealousy that J.B. Bickerstaff gets to coach him. Young big men usually take time to adapt to this league, not him. Beyond the production, you love his maturity and the leadership by example. Vernon Gomez, no good. And so it's Mobley with it. He'll bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. It's a five-point game. And that's what they teach you at every level. Get a body on your man, box out, grab the board. Now here's Barnes. Inside. Shoots over Garland. Barnes can't get it to go. Cleveland's gone just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Passes it to Garland. Mitchell with it from deep. Siakam pulls it in. Pass to Van Vliet. Here's Hernan Gomez. He's got eight. Here's Hananobi. And again, Toronto no luck. The Cavaliers trail by five. Allen dishes to Garland. Back to Allen. He kicks it to Mitchell. From deep three-point range. Again, Mitchell missing. Slow going for him this quarter. The defense putting up a good fight. Shots good by Hernan Gomez. Hernan Gomez has got 10 points. This quarter has been all his. I suggest they keep the ball in his hands. Timeout called Cleveland. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And the Cavaliers with some changes. Kevin Love's checked in for Evan Mobley. Osman comes in for Isaac Okoro. And Karis Levert subbed in for Garland. Raptors also changing it up. Young comes in for Barnes. And Flynn subbed in for Juan Hernan Gomez.
The Cavaliers trail by seven. And here is Mitchell. He has five. Allen kicks to Mitchell. Allen, a screen on Flynn. The shot by... Mitchell, no good. Let's just say his subpar shooting is just one reason why they are trailing in this ball game. And here's Van Vliet from the arc. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. Great three-point shooting here out of the gate. That makes four makes already from long distance. Allen passes to Mitchell. Allen, a screen on Flynn. Back to Allen. Well-timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Allen has to be in the conversation for the best role man in the league right now. Look, he sets solid screens, and then he's an efficient finisher down low. Young with the ball. Now defended by Mitchell. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. And the Raptors with the ball. Poked away. Stolen by Levert. Mitchell passes to Love. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Siakam with it. He's coming off an unbelievably high-scoring game. Young, a screen on Levert. Six to shoot. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. All right, a chance to check out the numbers for Karis Levert. Last year, getting it done. Put up about 17 points a game, four assists, and three rebounds. But to have a scorer like him consistently deliver you points makes such a big difference for a team. He's someone you can rely on to bring it on a nightly basis. When they need a basket, he's the guy they turn to. That free throw good from Young. And very quietly, Young just continues to be an efficient player, a multi-talented swingman who does a little bit of everything. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Jared Allen has become a cornerstone of this Cleveland Cavalier team. He plays on both sides of the ball with such intensity. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Mitchell's got his third basket of the night. And this is what makes Mitchell dangerous. His ability to rise up immediately after catching that pass. And with it. Picked up by Love. And oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot too. That one on Love. Yeah, nice strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. And talking about Jared Allen, he sure has improved his offensive numbers in recent years. Yeah, the average in scoring just keeps going up, averaging a double-double three of the last four seasons. Impressive young center to keep your eyes on. A free throw drops for Flynn. G.A., it wasn't long ago that the Cavs were an afterthought in the NBA. Well, not anymore. I mean, Cleveland has a tremendous young roster. They play some of the toughest D in the NBA, and they're only going to get better in the years to come. Second free throw, no good. Greg, when you look at Toronto, they have a lot of length and defensive switchability. They swarm opposing stars and tend to make it very difficult in those passing lanes. So a great profile for a modern NBA defense. And here is Van Vliet following the three-pointer by Donovan Mitchell. Now that one from Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got 11. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Love with the screen for Mitchell. And he can't answer back. The three-pointer offline. Raptors leading by five. 
Siakam looking around. The pass to Van Vliet. Six on the shot clock. And the Raptors hit again from deep. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. Yeah, and you got to know where he is at all times, especially when he's roaming around the perimeter ready to fire. Now here's Allen. Kicks it to Love. Lined up there for Allen. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. Young finds Ananobi. Now here's Van Vliet. Six for six. He's yet to miss from the field. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. 105 left to play here in the first. Mitchell outside. Good on the triple. He's got 14. And when he's hitting from deep, Mitchell's practically unguardable. Can't crowd him out there. He, he'll just drive right around. Him. Van Vliet kicks to Flynn. And the three off target. And the defense dodged one right there. Not the guy you want to leave open. Lavert. And it's off the back rim. No good. Look like he just rushed it there. Just maybe take a little bit more time in the future. I got him. Now here's Van Vliet. Guarded close. Gotta applaud the defensive effort. It's not easy to stop him getting in the lane like that. Love kicks to Mitchell. One second left. <laughs> Guys, it's been all about Fred Van Vliet for the Raptors. Going on an absolute rampage, piling in the points. He dictated the pace of the entire quarter. We'll return shortly. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen so far from the Raptors guys, your thoughts? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. Their points came almost exclusively from beyond the arc. And as this game continues, that should open up the floor for the rest of their offense. The Cavaliers trail by seven. So the Raptors five right now. Van Vliet and Ananobi are your wingmen. There's Boucher out there with Young. And it's Flynn in at the point. Garland with the bucket. Pretty savvy move there by Garland, making space with that pick and roll. Levert against Van Vliet. Boucher with a screen on Levert. Van Vliet can't get it to go. And so it's Mobley now who brings it up for Cleveland. Last time they came together was in Toronto, where they fell to the Raptors. A bad outing offensively. You, you break that game down, their issues were pretty clear. Won't win games in this league with an offensive night like that. They've got some things to figure out. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much. Karis LeVert has become one of the game's best slashers. He says, honestly, I just go to the front of the rim and work on different spins. Getting more comfortable with both hands and finishing. Kyrie Irving did that when he was younger, and that's one of the ways he became a great finisher. Kevin, back to you. He is a great finisher. David, thanks. He's studying the greats, and it's paying off. The Raptors making a switch here. Herning Gomez is jacked in. Garland, no good on the free throw. I've heard it said, Greg, a coach can't give you confidence, but they can take it away. What's the meaning behind that? Well, players at this level are naturally confident, but when coaches are always critical, it can take you out of your game. Make sure you just start to think a little too much on the floor. Here's Garland. Thaddeus Young picking up that last basket. A three. Good on that shot, and with that, the Toronto lead is cut down now to just two points with that basket from Garland. Such a consistent shooter. Garland has worked so hard on his three-point shot. 
Now, here's Ananobi. He had 15 points last out. That's it. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Love with the screen for Garland. Love outside. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Garland. Garland's got three assists now in this one. Pass to Boucher. Mobley with the block! Already a stellar defender. Mobley proving he can be relied on to anchor for this team. You gotta love strong defense, especially when it comes in the form of harsh rejection. Wow! And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Shot from the inbound. And the basket is good. And he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. good for Mananobi. Looking at this Cleveland Cavaliers team, this is a squad that really wants to get out of that championship team shadow. They want to establish their own identity. Now here's Love. Five points in the game. He dishes it to Garland. Here's Arshman. And it's off from three-point range. Raptors leading by four. We've talked about it, Richard. The city of Cleveland eternally grateful to LeBron for winning them a title back in 2016. And so is the franchise, but it's understandable why these players want to be given respect on what they've done for this team since he left, especially considering the recent success they've had with this young crew. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Lock at six. Here's Flynn. The shot misses. So the Cavaliers will take it the other way. Outside Garland. Back to Love. Shoots over Flynn. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Herman Gomez has got his fifth rebound in this one. Young's shot is off. The Cavaliers trail by four. There's Garland. Got it. Good job in the low post. Garland's got nine points now in the quarter. And started hot, and he's only gotten harder. Flynn against Love, and stolen by Love. Now, here's Garland. He's tightly guarded. Now, here's Lavert. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Down to five on the shot clock. A 15-footer. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. Herman Gomez has got six rebounds here tonight. To the inside. Boucher passes to Flynn. Back to Boucher. To the middle. Here's Young. And Young with the stuff. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. And you can feel the jolt of energy that he sent through his team. That is a huge boost in a tight game like this. They get it back. And the shot is good. The Raptor lead has been cut down now to just two points with that basket from Garland. And this is the energy that Garland brings, the type of teammate that's willing to go after that offensive glass and get dirty. Now, here's Ananobi. He has seven, and it's good. Two points. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Ananobi against Levert. Love outside. This is to Garland. Good again. He's on tonight. Nine for 13 shooting. He's doing everything he can. If they want to win, others have to step up and provide some scoring. 
So timeout called here. The first for Toronto. And let's take a quick look now at some stats for Love. Good season for him last year. Last season, he averaged 13 points a game, seven rebounds, and two assists. And when they need to add defense, that's who they look to. It's hard to find defensive spark plugs, but he is one of them. The whole team comes alive on D when he's in the game. On defense, Cleveland trailing by two. Boucher with a screen on Garland. From deep, Hernan Gomez. Love grabs the board. And it's Love with the ball for the Cavaliers. And Greg for Kevin Love. He feels like he's got a lot of years left in the league. And Kevin, coming off the bench, should lengthen the end of his career. He can thrive as a bench record with that green light. And He's got that light to let it fly with that shot. Lightning quick release from Love there. Flynn against Garland. To the paint. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. You'd love to get the ball this close in every trip where you can almost just not miss. Love with the screen for Garland. Right at the free throw line. That one, no good. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. And the shot will not go from on and over. Cleveland's gone three of four with the long-range bombs here in the second quarter. Garland kicks to Mobley. Knocks it loose. Now Flynn, his last outing, he had eight points. Passes to on and open. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Now at the break on the floor, you can see the teams that led the NBA in steals last year. The Raptors in second. You could tell by watching them how much they enjoyed playing defense they seem to have an endless reserve of energy flying around and and pressuring the basketball garland and it's toronto with the rebound here's boucher still looking for his first bucket in this one lavert against flynn he can't hit that time great d that time from lavert That falls. Clean assist by Love. Lavert's got the lead up to one now for the Cavs. Due to that aggressive style of play on the offensive end, Lavert is kind of just used to contact at this point. Now here's Flynn. Good on the shot. If the defense lets him inside, he will not hesitate. He'll gladly drop that thing right in the cup. There's Garland. An easy two points on the layup. Garland's got 21. 
shaping up to be a nice night from Garland. And his offensive energy right now, the team should be pretty excited. Toronto calls timeout. A different look now for Cleveland. Jared Allen comes in for Kevin Love. And Donovan Mitchell subbed in for Garland. Barnes inside and contact on the shot so he'll be shooting free throws here it's on Jared Allen and Fred Van Vliet a player who has always shot well from outside and Kevin Van Vliet has continued to kind of take on more of an offensive load increased his volume while maintaining efficiency not every player able to do that And he knocks down the first one. Hey, Richard, as soon as your playing career ended, you got right into this business, into broadcasting. When did you decide that this would be the next step? Uh, well, the first time is when I thought I was going to be out the league. And so I started uh, doing more and more work uh, until I retired in 2018. So it started way before uh, I retired. That laid the groundwork for you. Good job. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Poke loose. Boucher with the steal. Barnes outside. Pass to Van Vliet. Boucher with a screen on Levert. Van Vliet finds Boucher. Four on the clock. Barnes can't get it to go. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Raptors with the lead. Boucher with a screen on Levert. And again, Toronto no luck. And after that great first quarter from three-point range, he has finally come back to earth. The feet to Mobley. They get a hand on it, and stolen by Siakam. Van Vliet kicks to Boucher. Boucher sets a screen for Barnes. Back to Boucher. And it's sent back by Allen. <laughs> the long arms of Allen. Having a seven-foot wingspan might make it a little bit easier to find some of these blocks. And slam dunk by Allen. Guys, what a tight start to the game this has been. And it's still in the first half. This could be a wild one. Barnes passes to Boucher. Barnes left side. Out left of the wing. Toronto working the ball around now. Here's Flynn. Hits the three-point bomb. Flynn's got five points in the quarter. And what kind of defense was that? You can't give up wide open threes like that. What are you doing? Here's Osman. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. He kicks it to Mitchell. Six to shoot. 
count it. Good. And so tricky there with the floater. Mitchell aware of when he should try his luck shooting that shot. Van Vliet looking around. And again, Toronto with the triple. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. Lavert against Van Vliet. Lavert the pass to Mitchell. Allen a screen on Flynn. And here's Mitchell from the arc. And another field goal in his total. Make it 7 for 14, shooting 50%. And even after all those three-pointers he hit in that first quarter, it looks like the D still didn't learn its lesson as they've left him open for another one. Van Vliet can't get it to go. Well, it was Toronto winning their last game against the Knicks in New York. Mobley the pass to Mitchell. Allen kicks to Mitchell. Allen a screen on Flynn. For three, Mitchell, another three for Cleveland. And the coaching staff loves this. Mitchell being assertive on offense and just imposing his will. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Takes a step back. Siakam, Allen with the rebound. Mitchell outside. Mobley at the elbow. The length of Mobley is that's what's challenging for many defenders, which is why he pretty much resort to fouling him. And this will be his second and third shots at the line here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. When you're talking about Mobley, where do you start? In terms of length, skill set, he's got a great offensive skill set, and he's got a great defensive skill set. This man has the old school grit and grind mentality. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Donovan Mitchell firing on all cylinders for the Cavalier. He's been a major threat from three-point range. Got two of them to fall in that quarter. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, guys. Kevin, an ugly start to the game, but how did you guys come back? Uh, we just fought through it. I mean, I... Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third-quarter basketball. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. And I'm sure folks at home are looking at that schedule and thinking about making some uh, friendly wagers. What about you, big fella? Not me, Ernie. I'm smart with my money. I only invest in safe bets. Like pizza. Hey, don't laugh, Kenny. People always need pizza. <laughs> and next up, Let's take a look at the Cleveland Cavaliers, who seem pretty well matched in their game. You could tell they love playing in front of this crowd. The energy helps fuel this team right now. The sixth man is doing their job, Shaq. Yeah, there's no let up in these fans, loyal and loud. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's been one outstanding game from Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, he's just been raining down on him from deep here. Talk about dialed in. If I'm his teammate, I keep feeding the hot hand, especially since he's been on fire from deep also. The defensive pair in the post, Mobley and Allen. Mitchell is out there with Garland. And it's a Coro in at the small forward. That's the five for Cleveland right now. And there's one area where the Cavs have been very good the past few seasons. That's the draft. They've made some terrific picks in terms of personnel. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. Well, while we have a second, let's go to the 2K leaderboard for a list of the league's top shooters from last season. 
second, Jared Allen. Put the ball in the bucket. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? I mean, just ask him. He'll have the answer for you. Outside Garland. Allen with the screen for Garland. There's the dish to Allen. Over Siakam. That's good from Allen on the assist by Garland. Allen's got the lead up to eight now for the Cavs. The right GA they have, and the draft's been essential to the rebuild effort in Cleveland. And they've been so smart about it. You look at the guys they brought in, Mobley, Garland, Sexton. They nailed just about every one of their selections. Now here's Allen following the miss by Fred Van Vliet. Another shot. Allen, that's good. Allen's got four points in the quarter. A nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. Ananobi against Mitchell. And he uses both hands to jam it in. And wait to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the, ba the basket guy still shaking. Allen outside. And the pass to Mitchell. Ball's not loose. And now Siakam pushing it up and no one back to stop him. Yeah, what a display of quickness there. If you need to get out and run, Siakam's your guy. Garland, the pass to Allen. Back to Garland. Allen, a screen on Van Vliet. Garland finds Allen. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Van Vliet picks one up. The Cavaliers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. That free throw good from Allen. A pure five. Jared Allen isn't trying to shoot a bunch of threes. He bangs down low. He rebounds, protects the paints. He is a rare breed. And he makes both free throws. Raptors trail by eight. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Barnes against Mobley. Count that one from Van Vliet. And unafraid to challenge the heart of this defense. Van Vliet's a strong finisher for his size. Mobley outside. Holds it up there for Mobley. My goodness. Say, say that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Van Vliet passes to Barnes. Ananobi with him. Knocked loose. Passes it to Van Vliet. Hernan Gomez with a screen for Van Vliet. Three on the clock. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Allen. A moment here now to see the numbers for Garland. He's coming off an excellent season. And amongst the league's top tier scorers. Top 20 in points per game. And his floor awareness was impeccable last season. As you mentioned, top 10 in assists just does a great job of getting everyone involved. Kevin Love's checked in for the Cavaliers. Hernan Gomez a screen. Here's Barnes and another basket for Toronto. That's a guy you want taking shots. A quality offensive player. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Allen kicks to Garland. Back to Allen. And then Allen slams it in. Yeah, it's hard to believe that Garland is only getting better at this, developing into a skilled playmaker. Van Vliet passes to Barnes. Latrey. Count that one, and the Cleveland lead has been cut down now to just five on the bucket from Van Vliet. And that's another three. And if really, if the defense is hoping that they don't heat up from out there like they did in the first half, they may be in for a real bad surprise. And the basket is good. Got it to go through on the contact, so a free throw coming up. A great opportunity for a three-point play. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for Cleveland. Jetty Osman, he's checked in for a Coro. 
The Raptors also with a sub. Chris Boucher is checked in for Scotty Barnes. Craig, an outstanding score. Donovan Mitchell takes it to another level in the playoffs, doesn't he? And, Kevin, how about all of his averages go up come playoff time? Spider is a guy who wants the limelight and, like other stars, takes on more of a load in the postseason. Now, here is Siakam. And on Gomez with a screen on Allen. Siakam misses. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. That one goes in. And he can be slippery when he's up against tight D inside. There's no easy rejection opportunity when you're guarding Mitchell. Here's Van Vliet. He's got 26. Driving to the basket. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Osmond's got four rebounds in this game. Feeds to Allen. And Allen with the slam. Unbelievable. The agility at his size. Throwing it down, big fella. And the Raptors call time here. Raptors trail by 12. Ananobi with it. 13 points in the game. Tipped away. Van Vliet outside. Pass to Boucher. The Raptors need to get a shot off. That's good from Van Vliet on the assist by Ananobi. Ananobi's got four assists now tonight. Ananobi against Mitchell. And there's a whistle. That goes on Hernan Gomez. That's his first foul. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Here's Osman. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Siakam outside. The eight-footer again Toronto. With a harmonious blend of length and strength, Siakam has become a dependable interior scoring option. Now, here's Garland. 21 points in the game. Back to Allen. It's hauled in by the Raptors. I think Gomez has got his seventh rebound here tonight. Van Vliet outside. Back to Hernan Gomez. Good ball movement here by the Raptors. Here's Hananobi. The rebound by Kevin Love. Love's got six rebounds now in the game. Mitchell against Boucher. Allen kicks to Garland. Plenty of space. Dumb shot is good that time. Garland's got 23 points. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And you watch the way that Siakam plays. It can get you in the open court or in half-court sets. Great forward who gives you a little bit of everything. And for Siakam, great. He almost epitomizes the modern forward. And that's not to say he's the best forward, but he displays all the skills you now expect from Take that break. position. Take Solid break. player who Two any shot. team would love to have. The first free throw is good, and Cleveland making a change here. Lavert's checked in. Young's checked in for Toronto. Flynn comes in for OG Ananobi. Yes. 
Siakam hits them both. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Allen a screen on Hernan Gomez. And there's the pass to Allen. Kicks to Garland. Got a piece of it and stolen by Flynn. Down low, fires from the line. That's good from Van Vliet on the assist by Flynn. Van Vliet's got 31. And Van Vliet has the stroke to shoot from anywhere, even mid-range, when he has to. This man has entered the zone. Great shooting performance from him all game long. Here's Flynn. Darius Garland picking up that last basket. Swiped it away. Right wing. Let's it go with a three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Young left side. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Now here's Flynn. He has six. Siakam outside. Shot clock at six. And Van Vliet launches it from deep. They get the rebound. The Cavaliers leading by seven. Here's Allen. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Hard to stop a guy with Allen's physical gifts inside. He forces the defense to get sloppy and foul. He's off on the first. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. And he sinks the second. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. Now, here is Hernan Gomez. He's got 10. Garland against Flynn. That's tipped. He dishes it to Young. From deep, Hernan Gomez. For three, Van Vliet. Great D that time from Levert. Well, he's got a great stroke. That one almost dropped. Garland surveying the D. Passes it to Osman. Pass to Love. Doesn't go that time. So the Raptors will take it the other way. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Siakam. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. A moment to check out the numbers for Fred Van Vliet. Great showing for him last season. Sixth in steals and ranked in the top 15 in free throw percentage. Tremendous confidence and technique at the line. And like a thief in the night, he will pick your pocket clean. Top 10 in steals, as you said last year. Always a threat to cause a turnover. First free throw is good. Mobley, he's checked in for the Cavaliers. No good on the second free throw. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. And here is Flynn. After Karis LeVert made the last three-pointer. Here's Siakam. From down in the low post, it goes. Siakam's got nine points here in the second half. Outside Garland. The pass to Mobley. With some arc. That's good. And it's Garland with the assist. Garland's got his ninth assist in the game now. Siakam outside. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. That one on Love. 
Now, I'm just so impressed with Siakam's offensive improvement over the years. I mean, he's mastering the ability to play in attack mode. Shooting two. The first one falls. The Raptors making a switch here. Barnes is checked in. And so he hits both. There's a minute 34 left to play in the third. Love with the screen for Garland. Love deciding where to go with it. Pass to Mobley. Six on the shot clock over Young. Mobley misses. Really thought he had this one. And the defense, they were giving it to him. Mobley with the block. Now Love. Eight points for him. Levert finds Love. Shoots over Van Vliet. Love, no luck. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Raptors. Siakam inside. Working on Love. And now the Cavaliers. Fast break. And he jams it with authority. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. We know mistakes lead to breaks. That's just textbook right there. Toronto with the ball, following the score by Cleveland. Siakam passes to Flynn, up and in on the layup. Flynn's got his third bucket of the night. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Garland against Flynn. Garland, the pass to Levert. Three-pointer. No good on that one. And we've watched three so far in this one. Cleveland ahead, up by eight. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. So it's Toronto now. Eight point game. On the court for Toronto to start the fourth. We've got Chris Boucher, also young out there. Ananobi out there with Barnes. And it's Flynn in at the one spot. Ananobi, good. And can't do much else. The strength of Ananobi comes in handy on those challenging finishes. Flynn against Garland. Love with the screen on Flynn. And here's Garland for three. One made three for him for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Boucher against Mobley. Outside Flynn. Passes it to Ananobi. Over Mitchell. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mobley's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And here's Garland for three. Good, and it's Mitchell picking up the assist. Mitchell's got three assists now in this one. Outside Flynn. Pass to Ananobi. That shot is good. He has made eight while missing only four. That's 67% shooting. How about these big shots for him in the fourth? He has been locked and loaded offensively. Now here's Love. Back to Garland. And stolen by Flynn. Knocked away. Stolen by Levert. And stolen by Flynn. And they're pushing it up. Here's Hananobi. Yes! And the foul. There is Garland picks one up. Jared Allen's checked in for Kevin Love. Oh 
Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. Good shot. That's good from Ananobi. Yeah, and the work they've done at the line has been impressive here in the second half. Mitchell against Ananobi. Mitchell kicks to Garland. Wound up there for Allen. Shot clock at five. The pass to Boucher. Driving the lane. And there's the foul. It's on Chris Boucher. That's his first foul. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Okoro's checked in. And the Raptors also making a change. Hernan Gomez is checked in. Lavert finds Mitchell. Now here's Allen. Defended by Young. Allen, that's good. Something seemed to click for him at halftime. He's looked a lot more focused, and the game is just easy for him now. Inside. And finished off by Hernan Gomez. It's been like this all night for both teams. The offenses having their way. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. Now here's Lavert. Mitchell looking it over. That's the three fly. Boucher with the rebound. Boucher's got rebound number five here tonight. Young passes to Flynn. Boucher with a screen on Mitchell. Flynn against Mitchell. Shoots. Flynn misses. The Cavaliers leading by four. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Allen's shot is off. The Raptors have gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Near the three-point line, it's Mitchell. They get it back. And stay with the play, Allen. Whatever adjustments were made in half, boy, they are working. He's looking like a different player since the break. And here's Boucher. Hernan Gomez with the ball. Here's Ananobi. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. Ananobi's got 11 points in the quarter. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Avert kicks to Mitchell. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Flynn. And Ananobi now top of the key. Over Mitchell. That one off the back iron and out. And Cleveland with another turnover here. Toronto trailing. Young passes to Boucher. And Young kicks to Boucher. Outside Flynn. Pass to on and open. Shoots over Levert. A putback. And Ananobi stays with it. Ananobi's got the game tied up here for the Raptors. I tell you what, he was on a mission on that possession. Did not stop working until he got it up and in. Mobley the pass to Levert. Back to Mobley. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Hangs home the trifecta. Mitchell's got 10 points here in the second half. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. He gets that one. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. And so it's Mitchell who brings up the ball for Cleveland. They've held a 12-point lead early. Clock 
block at four. And Boucher sends it back. Pass to Ananobi. Here's Boucher. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Flynn against LaVert. Flynn misses. Cavaliers leading. Mitchell outside. Another three for Cleveland. Well, and this has been their strategy throughout the fourth period. We'll see how it pans out. I think when you've got it going from three-point range, you've got to keep it going. It's a good way to kind of pile up the points quickly. Toronto calls timeout. Siakam is checked in for Chris Boucher. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, during that break, Coach Nick Nurse talked to his team. He told him this is gut check time. This is when it gets real and when it gets fun. We're here to play in these big moments. Let's make this one count. Kevin, by my count, that's five cliches. Thank you, David. Raptors trail by four. Siakam outside. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Clearly a foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one. Darwin is checked in for Cleveland. And the Raptors also making a change. Fred Van Vliet is checked in for Flynn. It's the second from the line. The Cavaliers leading by three. Outside Garland. Allen with the screen for Garland. Pope loose. Mitchell outside. Five on the clock. A three ball. And another three for Cleveland. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now, here's Siakam. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And, and with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Shot. Throw good, Siakam. Barnes is checked in for Toronto.
And good on the second, so he makes them both. The Cavaliers leading by four. Garland dishes to Allen. Garland the pass to Allen. Outside Garland. Just five on the clock. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Garland's got five points in the quarter. Oh, going inside and fighting for the bucket. That's what you want. You want a person that's going to fight for those inches. Pass to Hernan Gomez. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Mitchell. Here's a Coro. Dishes it to Mitchell. Now, here's a Coro. Into the lane. And that one, good. And so Siakam will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. Now the pass to Van Vliet. And he uses the glass on the layup. Van Vliet's got 33 points. He's been a bright spot in their play today, but he could really use some help. Mitchell outside. Tipped away. Outside Garland. Lock at six. Back to Mitchell. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Scotty Barnes. Raptors trail by six. Pass to Van Vliet. And there's the block. Just stops it cold and takes possession. Allen kicks to Garland. Passes to Okoro. And here's Mitchell from the arc. The shot, no good. And Toronto will come the other way. Van Vliet with it. Guarded now by Okoro. Basket, good. Siakam's got 16 here in the second half. Massive hoop there from Siakam. We've seen him do it in the finals. This guy showing he's made for big moments. Now, here's Garland. Back to Mitchell. Launches it. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Van Vliet up top. Guarded by Garland. Siakam. Count the basket and the foul. It's on Jared Allen. And gives Siakam the hoop and the harm on that one. And since being drafted back in 2016, he's really improved that upper body strength. to see why his teammates trust him. He's a leader on this team and loves coming up huge in the clutch. Garland against Van Vliet. And there it is for him. Garland's got seven now in this quarter. Those are huge points from Darius Garland. This guy has become the go-to man for them in these moments. And look, you know what? Teammates need him to be big in these big moments. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. Allen. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, and luckily they've got terrific depth at that position. If there's one spot on the floor where they can afford to lose somebody, that would probably be it. And it's tied up with that one. Yeah, terrific and one on that one. Those are the kind of plays, guys, that win basketball games. Garland against Van Vliet. Beyond the arc, buries the long-range jumper. Garland's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Cavs. Raptors trail by three. Van Vliet outside. with the block. Ananobi against Mitchell. To the left wing. Mobley, a screen on Van Vliet. For three, Mitchell. Good, another 
Four from three. Buries his 10th triple of the game. Unbelievable. And the Raptors call time here. They're trailing by six. 44 seconds left in the fourth quarter. To the middle. Here's Van Vliet. It's in! And now they trail by just four. Great poise from Van Vliet there. Shrugging off the pressure and just taking that shot. And now we've got the intentional foul. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the Cavaliers. They've held a 12-point lead early, and he commits the intentional foul. It's a six-point ball game. I'm not going to lie. That's big, making all of those. Giving them a little bit more breathing room. Both it up in the first. See how come. Throws down the alley-oop slam. And delivering in the clutch. Siakam with zero fear. Wanting the ball when it matters most. And now they decide to foul intention. Puts them up by five. And so both free throws are good. And it's a six-point ball game. And the Raptors call time here. They trail by six. There's 25 seconds left in the game.
There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Van Vliet attacking. Shoots over Garland. Hernan Gomez. It's good. And now they trail by just four. And they're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. Had to foul and on that occasion to stop the clock. That's the enemy in this situation. First one drops, and that puts them up by five. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. No time to waste on this possession. Clock working against them right now. Barnes can't get it to go, and they go to the intentional foul. You have to foul, but I'm sure they would have liked to foul someone different. the first one and that makes it a seven point lead. And so he drops them both. It's an eight point game. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Here's Flynn. That three off the mark. So we see the Cavaliers get the win here. Some good moments throughout this one, but they had the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much. Kevin, big job tonight in winning the game. What do you learn about your team when you win a game like this? Uh, we're just giving ourselves a chance to win. So, I'm here. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that'll wrap it up, folks. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. So long.